Okay, I'm going to do a review of the Bun Speed Brew Classic. This is a really good coffee pot. It's a hundred bucks. Um, my dad has used this uh, all his life, you know, for 30 or 40 years. He just swears by this. Makes a great cup of coffee. So I bought one. It has a different feature that people aren't normally used to. People are normally used to putting the water in and then it boils it and it percolates it out. This has water that's already hot, ready to go. So let me explain that. In the back here, there's a reservoir that's filled with water. You gotta fill it the first time with water and it's kept heated all the time. If you look right here, see here it's heated. And then when you put water in here, which is here, it's gonna go down, it's gonna replace the hot, it's gonna push the hot water out to brew your coffee, but then it's gonna replenish this reservoir and heat it up so that it's hot all the time. Now where people get into trouble is, is if you go on vacation or something, you gotta turn this switch off right here on the side because this will, over time, boil out, will evaporate, and then your heater element will burn up. So if you're gonna be gone, they say for about a week or so, turn this side switch off. Otherwise, you're gonna leave this switch on all the time so that coffee is ready to go. Now the front switch here is just for the um, hot pad to keep the coffee hot. So you turn this on whenever you're brewing coffee and then whenever you're done drinking your coffee, you turn it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I make a pot of coffee. First, I turn this on and you're gonna lift this up. You're gonna pour your water in here. As you can see, there's this little lever so that when the, the lid closes, what that's gonna do is this, this reservoir, the top reservoir is gonna fill up and then when you close the lid, that's when it's going to release the water down into this chamber to push out the hot water. So you're not going to get coffee brewing until you close this top lid. That's important because it might take you a while to pour the water in. You don't want it to be, you might use the, some people use the coffee pot to pour the water in and then, but I bought this handy dandy thing from Bun. It's about 20 bucks. My dad had one and it just seems to work really well and easy to pour. So. You have to use bun filters, that, and these things aren't expensive. They're sold at Walmart or Amazon, but they are bun specific. And the reason I think they're a little taller and they might be made a little different, but there's been reviews of people using different filters and it's a mess. I use a half a cup of coffee for a full pot of coffee, and it seems to taste fine. And so I've got it in there, got my filter in there. It slides into a little tray real easy slide it in now I've got my burner on I'm gonna pour the water in okay it's not doing anything I'm gonna close the lid now the water is gonna go into the back and it's gonna start brewing now I've seen some people online, if, if the reviews have been talking all about this, this lid, and I was kind of skeptical of buying, the Amazon reviews especially. They showed pictures of coffee all over, spilling. And the thing about it is, is, is this coffee pot doesn't go in, it doesn't have a little place where it sits. It just kind of, it can kind of sit anywhere. But what I've noticed, noticed is if I don't get it perfectly under there I've never had coffee spill it always goes where it's supposed to go in the coffee pot this is a little newer design my dad's is a little different um, it might be better for the coffee to go into but this one seems to work and I haven't had any problems with it but I almost didn't buy it just because of those reviews but like I said I haven't had any problems So apparently this thing, it's got a four minute brew. Like I said, my dad's had one and he runs vinegar through it probably once every couple years. And he's had the same coffee, he's had the same bun, I wanna say for 10, 15 years, it seems like. These things just last and last. Okay, so it's done brewing. It did take about four minutes. The only thing I don't like about it is, so some of the cheaper coffee pots have got a little, um, 
valve here that stops water from coming out when you remove the coffee pot. This one still lets water drip. So you might get a drip when you pull it out, and I do, but it never seems to bother and it wipes off pretty easy. See how water dripped. But and it's got this weird thing, but it seems to work. And then you just pour a cup of coffee. It is hot. Um, the coffee maker is relatively quiet. It's not that percolating sound. Now what you're gonna hear, what it's doing now is, so now there's cold water back here in this reservoir and it's heating it up. So you're gonna hear a little bit of percolating back here. Like I said, not too bad. And just remember, leave this switch on. I had to put these labels on. I wish they marked switches and I know you're supposed to know what these little dash and circles are. I'm somewhat of an electrician and I don't even remember what they are. So I have to put a label maker on that says on and off. You want to leave this switch on unless you're going to be on vacation. And then when you're all done, this switch is lit. It's on the front and it's only for this burner to keep the pot warm. And it does keep it warm. And then I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to show you what I do to clean it. So this. There's your coffee. You can see how it starts to come up the side. So if you use the wrong filter, it may not work, but it kind of distributes it evenly. And I, it seems like a really good cup of coffee. And I don't do this in the sink, but, but I'm, I normally do it in the trash can. But just for demonstration, I'm going to do it in the sink. What I do, it all comes out. I turn the water on. I just rinse mine out. Once, about once a week, I'll throw it in the dishwasher. And when my coffee's all done, I just dump the coffee down the sink. I rinse it out. And like I said, this is dishwasher safe too. I'll throw this in the top rack of the dishwasher. But I just rinse it out for a couple days. So the does, it does come apart. This thing comes off. It just snaps in right there and you can pull it out. Put that in the dishwasher. I put it in a place where it won't fly out. Another thing that's different is this opening is not real big. I wish it was bigger because you can't get your, I can't get my hand in there to, you know, sometimes you want to get in there and just clean it real well. I know my dad's older one, this is a little wider and you can really get your hand in there and just clean it easy. So, but it's been doing okay. So you, you are getting a little percolating now. This is after the fact, after you brewed your cup of coffee, it's heating up that, that water for the second brew. Now, if you wanted to do another pot right away, it might take a little bit to heat up that water in order for you to get another uh, pot of coffee. And here's what, here's what I mean about, see this thing kind of, I wish it, my dad's kind of sits in a little groove better. This one, you, you know, like I said, I thought this was gonna be a problem, but it actually hasn't. I know I've looked over before and it's been off to the side, it's been over here, it's been there. You know, maybe if you had it way off or something, the coffee might not go in the pot, but if you get it relatively close, I haven't had any coffee spill out or anything. One thing that I did have to send the first one back from Amazon, and you're going to want to watch, there was a little piece of plastic floating around in the, in the box, and I thought, well, I wonder what that's from. And it was from these slides. So the way they ship it is this thing, I think, I remember right, was in these slides. And if it gets bounced around or hit too hard, these little tangs broke, break off. And you, you're not gonna see it right away. But what it is, I thought, well, I'll just keep it. But what I was finding is, is it was, without those little tangs there, it was hard to get this to slide in correctly. So I just sent it back, Amazon sent me another one. They do sell this at Walmart. And it looks to be the exact same one. This is 2020. I think I bought it a couple months ago. So that's it for my review. I didn't want to review it as soon as I bought it because I just wanted to play with it for a while, but I've had it now maybe three months and I haven't had any problems with it. Um, other than that switch being labeled on the side and make sure you buy bun filters. And that's about it. My daughter did one time turn this switch, you know, she turned this on and off, or no, I had it off for vacation. And she turned, she came home and then she just turned this on and said, Dad, though coffee was cold well so that's going to be the thing is, is this a diff this is a different type of a coffee pot and you may have this switch on or off but just make sure you leave it on but turn it off for vacation 
other than that it's, it just seems like a really good coffee maker and like I said my dad's had nothing but good luck with them he runs vinegar through them once in a while he uses it every day I've been using mine every day and there's just a, a view of it this is a really good diagram they put on the side of it to kind of explain what's going on and that's it thank you